Okay, so let's make our way down onto the bottom section of the park, which was all down here. So you would have made your way down this steep hill here. And right in front of you there would have been the Dragon Roller Coaster, the diesel powered Dragon Roller Coaster, which used to cross over our heads right here. And I'm gonna do a photo fade for you now and show you exactly what that looked like from here. just see on the wall here as we're making that way down the hill where the handrails used to be coming down now just down here on the left you can see again a foundation of a building I'll put in down below what that used to be because right now I'm not 100% sure I don't remember much about this section here I've just spotted this on the wall that looks like a roller coaster wheel to me it looks like one but I don't think it is it's like a polyurethane wheel, could be, or maybe a maybe a, a log flume boat wheel. It does look like that to me. Just at the side of the log flume trough, if you just look in the trees there, and I'll zoom in for you now, you can see some track remaining from the former Dragonfly roller coaster right there. So it's not all lost. There are some pieces still around, and we will take a look in there shortly and get close to that. Lots of these walls all around the site, so you can still kind of see the layout. It's not all lost. And then right here is one of the bridges as you cross into the lower section of the park. And some buildings remaining. Because there's a natural stream that flows through the site here. And underneath the site as well, from the valley up there. And then just in the trees again you can see the roller coaster track there for the Dragonflyer. So you can see some of the buildings there we, again we will take a closer look at them so let's go off the beaten track up here a little bit and up to where the pirate ship used to be or the galleon I think it was called I'm sure it was up the top end here right there again you can see the foundation for it or maybe this was a building if I remember rightly actually this might have been a toilet block I'm thinking it was again I'll verify that down below I remember there being some kind of a toilet block here, next to this turret. I do remember this turret here. So we just have a look inside, the door is open. Let's see what's inside. So it's just been used at the minute to store some electrical equipment. But as you can see, it does have things inside and it probably would have been used for storage back in the day. I don't remember anything being inside here. Let's just venture up into the trees and take a closer look at that roller coaster track up here. Now you can see some kind of a building here. Yeah, just on top of that building there, it looks like a, an old turret of some sort. And then right there is that roller coaster track. It's the old Dragonfly, I used to love that ride. Now I don't remember much about this back section here, so we're literally on the lower section, but at the back, yet again you can see that roller coaster track right there. As it would have headed out of the woodland to cross over the pathway that we saw when we came in. There you go. This section is all intact. A lot of it has been scrapped now. So no guesses as to what used to be this way. I don't remember much about this. You can see an old wall there. I never remember coming this far up. Again, we're underneath that roller coaster track there and onto a tunnel which heads underneath one of the roads above it up here. So let's just have a look through here.
I wonder if this used to be a former entrance at some point. You've got the old Park Hall Hotel just up there on the hill. And then the former crazy golf site would have been up there on that foundation just behind it there. As you can see today, it's been laid out for something completely different for this scare event that runs here called Scare City. There would have been the former crazy golf course right there. And then we're just heading behind some of the former buildings here. So these are some of the old game stalls, if you remember. A lot of the stalls that used to be here. Again, set up for the Halloween event currently. That's some of the old buildings here. Now used to store things for the Halloween event. But yeah, these would have been ice cream kiosks, shops. And here's around the front side, again, of that game store. It's got some body bags in there now. And again, you can tell what this used to be. It's still got the sign on it. Now, if I remember rightly, the Dragonflyer station used to be up here at the back. So let's head up there and have a quick look. Yeah, so here we are. This is where the track would have made its way through the trees. You can see the gap right there in the middle of where the Dragonflyer would have come through from making its way all around the back and towards us here. It used to snake through and just right here in front of us and right towards that concrete foundation there, which I think was the front of the station. So I think the station building was right here in front of us. You can just see some of the foundations on the left here. You can see there where they've ripped out the foundations, all the concrete blocks there. Yeah, and you probably would have entered, if I remember rightly, around the back of it here. I can't remember how you got to it. I remember coming in somewhere down this end and making my way up a hill. But then the ride would have en exited the station building here, which is straight in front of us, and onwards around the back of the park there. Now, our next stop is going to be the former jousting arena, if you remember that, which used to stand right in front of us there. So let's head over there and see what's remaining of that. Now you can clearly see the foundation here for the arena, the jousting arena. So you would have had the big grandstand right here, with tiered seats going up towards the trees and a roof over the top of it. And it spanned all the way the full length of this wall here, so from where we are now, right across to the other side. It was quite a large seating area, probably a thousand seats in there. And then you had the Jousting Arena right there where it's all overgrown. And then around the other side, they were actually shops as well. Now they have gouged a bit of the arena out here to make a road through the site. But yeah, there would have been a large sand pit right here for the horses and the Jousting Arena basically to be galloping up and down on. So let's just head on to the site and have a look. You can still see some of the floor in here, look. Some of the wood chip and the sand.
So I made my way back down to the lower end of the site to get you these game stalls, the ones that backed on to the former Jousting Arena because we didn't cover them earlier. But we are losing light fast. So I thought I'd come down and get them now with my torch. But you can see how much of a bad state some of them are in. I mean, they are literally crumbling. That's why they're all sealed off now. So I won't be going inside there, but you can see what they used to be and the old castle theming that still remains on there. Let's take a look inside here. Former ride building here, or a snack bar or something. Now somewhere over the back end of the site there would have been where the Ferris wheel was, if you remember that. The one that had the colourful cars on it. I'll show you a picture of that now as we head towards it. That Ferris wheel, I'm sure, used to be right over here somewhere towards the back of the site. I'll light it up for you there. And it used to stand up towards those trees there. And I believe there was a couple more games units or shops just there. And then the large wooden gantry just behind the screen there that used to head up to the second part of the site, which is right up there behind those trees where all the major roller coasters were. Like I say, it was in two sections, this park. So you had the lower section, which is here. Again, some more stalls here, which still remain today. Now, part of the Halloween theming, which is quite inventive. I do like these swinging clowns here. So this is the event we're at today, which is known as Scare City, here at the former Camelot theme park. And it's run by parkandparty.co.uk. So if you want to check it out for next year, next Halloween, you maybe can come down here and walk around the site yourself and get scared to death. Thank you very much for watching. Join me in the next part where we're going to venture further around the site. There's a lot more to see. I'll see you next week. Bye.